Global IP Trust, Presence. Eight Inventions from World War I. Although World War I was one of the darkest chapters in human history, it paved the way for many innovations and inventions, that effectively changed the way we lived post-war. Many handy inventions that were made out of necessity for the wars, are now used as everyday tools that make our lives better. In this video, we will look at 8 such inventions, from the World War I era. Trench Coats Now a fashion icon, the trench coat first gained popularity among British officers during World War I, because of its functionality. They were different in cut and weight, than the heavy overcoats worn by enlisted men, says Jonathan Casey, director of the Archives, and Edward Jones Research Center, at the National World War I Museum and Memorial. The water-resistant overcoats proved superior to the standard wool coats, in repelling the rain and chill of the trenches, from which the garment gained its name. They also featured flaps and rings for securing weapons and map cases. Within months of the war's start, London retailers such as Burberry and Aquascutum, were advertising trench coats to the British public. Blood Banks Doctors rarely performed blood transfusions prior to World War I. However, following the discovery of different blood types, and the ability of refrigeration to extend shelf life, Captain Oswald Robertson, a U.S. Army doctor consulting with the British Army, established the first blood bank in 1917, on the Western Front. The point was to have a blood supply as close to the front as possible, for wounded patients, Casey says. To facilitate storage, blood was kept on ice for up to 28 days, and sodium citrate was added to prevent clotting. Sanitary Pads During a European tour in 1914, Kimberly Clark executives discovered a material made from processed wood pulp, that was five times more absorbent than cotton, and cost half as much to produce. With cotton in short supply during World War I, the company trademarked the crepe wadding as cellucotton, and sold it to the American military for surgical dressing. However, Red Cross nurses found another use for the cotton substitute, as makeshift sanitary pads. After the war's conclusion, Kimberly Clark repurchased cellucotton surplus from the military, and in 1920, launched its first commercial product, Kotex, short for cotton texture, sanitary pads, made from 40 plies of cellucotton, hand-wrapped in fine gauze. Kleenex Kotex was not the only iconic product that Kimberly Clark developed from cellucotton. After experimenting with a thin, and flattened version of cellucotton for possible use as gas mask filters, the company launched it in 1924, as a disposable makeup and cold cream remover, under the brand name Kleenex. When women started complaining about their husbands blowing their noses in their Kleenex, Kimberly Clark repositioned the tissues as handkerchief alternatives, that prevented the spread of germs. Stainless Steel During the war, the British military was in search of harder alloys for their guns, so they would be less susceptible to distortion from the heat, and friction of firing. English metallurgist Harry Brearley discovered that adding chromium to molten iron, produced steel that wouldn't rust. This resulted in a new metal alloy that is strong, and also highly durable and rust-proof. Although stainless steel was not used for guns, its use during World War I to manufacture aircraft engines, mess kit silverware, and medical instruments, launched its popularity. The Zipper Although not called the zipper, until the B.F. Goodrich company coined the term in 1923, the hookless fastener was perfected by Gideon Sundback, 
during World War I. The first major order of zippers came from money belts worn by soldiers and sailors, who lacked uniform pockets. While buttons remained the convention on military uniforms during the war, zippers began to be sewn into the flying suits of aviators, and took off in popularity in the 1920s. Wristwatches Prior to World War I, wristwatches were worn almost exclusively by women, as fashion accessories. Most men used pocket watches on chains as their timekeepers, but they proved impractical in trench warfare. It was a lot easier to wear a wristwatch than use a pocket watch in the heat of battle, particularly for an officer who might have a sidearm in one hand, and a whistle in another, Casey says. Wristwatches also proved necessary for aviators, who needed both hands at all times. After proving their utility in warfare, wristwatches gained acceptance as a men's fashion accessory. Drones Fewer than 15 years after Orville Wright soared over the dunes of Kitty Hawk, he participated in the American military's first experiments, with unmanned aircraft. Charles Kettering supervised the experiments, and in 1918, successfully tested an unmanned aerial torpedo, that could strike a target at a distance of 75 miles. Launched by a dolly and track system, the Kettering bug consisted of a papier-mâché fuselage, and cardboard wings. It relied on a barometer and gyroscope for guidance. However, the war ended before it could be ready for combat. As you have seen, even when World War I was a catastrophic event that shattered the human race, some great innovations came out of the war. What was invented due to pure necessity, are now unavoidable parts of our lives. It is as the old saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.